In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this particular design which looks kind of a, a battery or double A battery. All right, so when I click, it will expand and it will give the details. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here it is expanded and then uh, it will show you the option one, two, three, four with the detailed text along with the icon. If I go back again, so it looks something like this, you can see here. And similarly, I have created one more slide where I have uh, done the full, you can see here the full slide. And when I click, it will expand like this. All right. So depending on the requirement, you can just choose either if you like to show the full uh, size of the image or you can just choose this one as well. All right. So you can see here, it looks something like this. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle and make the height as 6 and the width as 2.7 and shape fill you can just give any color of your choice maybe I'm going to give a red color shape outline make it no outline and put it in the center all right now I'm going to drag this one and duplicate this you can hold the control shift key and drag it towards the right you can see here I've just added one more and I'm going to give a different color combination then drag it by holding the control shift once again and again give a different color combination and I'm going to add one more and now this time you can just give a kind of a dark green or any other color depending on the requirement and if you like to add more uh, options you can just reduce the width and you can add it but anyway I'm going to keep it like this and then I'm going to design it should look like a kind of a, a battery okay for that go to insert shape select the rectangle and draw a smaller here all right shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to the format shape and under the fill i'm going to select the gradient fill by default the four stops are there okay so first stop i'm going to select and i'm going to select a black color here and here also i'm going to select a kind of a black and here i'm going to select somewhat gray color all right and here also I'm going to give a gray color so it looks kind of a something like this a glossy one okay now I'm going to add one more rectangle here on top of this to give a more kind of a glossy effect all right shape outline make it no outline and then here also I'm going to select the gradient fill with gradient fill I'm going to make it only two colors okay one color I'm going to put this as white and other color black only but for this I'm going to make it full transparency to 100% alright sorry this one make it transparency to 100% white should be no transparent actually I've selected the wrong one so white make sure that is 0% and black one should be 100% and just we can keep it here alright like this now I'm going to select both of this shape drag this towards the right all right and make sure there should not be any gaps in between and then go to insert shape from the rectangles i'm going to set the rounded corner rectangle in the center i'm going to draw this one shape outline no outline i'm going to select this go to the home using the format painter i'm just clicking on this one all right and for this also press ctrl d reduce the size alright and put it like this here to give a kind of a, a glossy effect here so you can see here the design is almost ready so I'm going to select both of this press ctrl G to group it and this also I'm going to select these three objects press ctrl G to group it okay once this is done the next thing which would I would like to do is to add the icons the detail text and some option numbers here so let's start with the option number so go to insert text box here i'm going to type option number 01 center align font color i'm going to choose a white and use some bold fonts open sans extra bold i'm using 
and I'm going to make it kind of maybe 48 all right then go to insert icons choose any relevant icon from the list so here I'm just going to choose some random uh, icons I'm selecting this one click insert this is inserted here bring it here exactly in the center and the color I'm going to choose as white and then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text equals LORM within brackets one I don't want this much large text so I'm going to delete some of the text again font color should be white center align all right if you want you can just make this as justify low also all right so I'm just going to put it like this all right so now you can see here I have added this option so now I'm going to select these three options hold the control shift key and drag it towards the right so this is my second option my third option and my fourth option so let me just change this to four this to three two and one and the icon is very simple to change go to the graphic format change graphics from icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice from the list all right so let me just choose uh, maybe uh, this one and click insert so you can see here it has been replaced so similarly i go to the graphic format change graphics from icons and again choose the icon depending on the requirement so maybe i'm going to choose the apple all right and the last one as well i'm just going to select and give a different icon maybe this house yes it's done you can see here once this is done i'm going to select these options and i'm going to give some shadow effects so go to the effects shadow presets and i'm going to choose which is offset right okay we can see here let me just select one more time it is not visible all right the it has been added here okay anyway so now what's this once this is done i'm going to group this one okay press ctrl g to group it this also select with the help of the mouse and press ctrl g to group it ctrl g and ctrl g all right so once this is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one right mouse click and duplicate the slide keep the second slide as it is go to the first slide and move the content one by one here first of all make sure that all these four go to the graphic format and send backward send to back okay and here i'm going to move a little bit here as well so that this corner okay now i'm going to select this even for this also we need to move it to the corner so let me just duplicate this one so it's easy for me okay all right now i'm going here move it okay so this is my first one make sure that this is already sent to back you can see here move it the text should not be visible so here also i'm just going and send this to back and the fourth one okay you can see here it went to back all right and here also a little bit i move it and this also i'm going to attach it here all right you can see here sorry you can see here now the second slide i will select go to the transitions and make it more of transition so it this is how it works and then duration i'm going to reduce to one second so if i play it looks something like this and it expands you can see here all right and then you can add some different color combination here so the background color i'm going to give a kind of a light gray here and here also the same color i would like to apply all right and now here you can just add any headline here all right you can make it center line make it bold i'm going to choose the open sans extra bold 
you can see here this is your headline put it exactly in the center control c bring it to the next slide control v reduce the font size all right and put it here all right let me just put it yes okay now let's see headline here and this is how it works you can all right 